Confused, but relieved. <laughs> 11-year-old Ali Hassan is finally home after being arrested on May 14th, just outside Bahrain's capital, Manama. He explains what happened to him. It was Saturday and we were playing. Mm -hmm. They came and blocked the street and left. So we went back and played a game and some civilians took some pictures for us. Next day, we went to play near the high street. Then a police patrol came and chased us. I lost control and fell on the ground. So one of them caught me. I was taken to the police station where they asked me and I said I made nothing. Then I was accused of burning tires and being violent. His lawyer says he is a political detainee. Ali is now on trial. He has been put on trial for political reasons. Ali was accused of attending a rally and resorting to violence. This case has many implications and is being considered a political case. Ali shouldn't be in such circumstances. There have been anti-government protests in Bahrain since February of last year. Dozens of people have been killed. The government is not letting this go. Hassan is also being accused of endangering public safety. The juvenile in question was not in custody uh, only for participating in an illegal gathering, but his involvement in burning tires and roadblocks. We have an obligation to the rest of the population of Bahrain to preserve uh, law and order. Hassan's father says his son has been part of peaceful demonstrations, but says the charges are unfair. As his father, how can you describe the accusations against Ali? Much more bigger than his age. While in prison, Hassan was allowed to take his final school exams. And as he settles back into his old life, his troubles are far from over. He's been ordered to appear in court again on June 20th to face charges including joining an illegal gathering. Dorsa Jabari, Al Jazeera, 